Oh boy. There is a little fire and there's someone in the water with a, with a beacon. Well, that ain't my problem. Oh, beautiful hit. We actually overkilled that PT boat a little bit. Okay, let's stop trying to attack the small target with big guns. Let's get the main target. Oh, glorious. Oh, God. Oh, oh, crap. That was way too close. Oh, no, 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 no. The ammo belts are blowing. Engines are on fire. Oh, crap. We're on a dying ship. Good afternoon and welcome back to more Stormworks with RNT. And in today, episode 5 of the Naval War series, I present to you why it's taking me so long to make a new episode. Introducing my brand new AMC World War I inspired Kaiser class heavy cruiser. I call it a heavy cruiser because the battleship is usually a lot bigger. This ship, however, looks more like a light cruiser. But I call it heavy because it's dang heavy. Again, I had to build this in a way that could be maintained and simple. Because I don't have all of the parts unlocked yet. And I figured I want to get a little authentic. Because I'm not at the end game. I'm kind of at mid game where I have, like, I have the tools, I have goods. Overlaying the map and overviewing our situation. We only got 35 tech points left. We got a good amount of money from scouting about and finding loot containers. I've secured the ring, as I like to call it. The ring, essentially, Komodo freight to chemical plant all the way to spy cakes. Even the refinery, sea fort. However, I have not yet been able to get down to the southern countries because they took Dang North Harbor again. We had that. Last episode, I think we took North Harbor and it was okay. And they're currently occupying Holt Town. Oh, that's not good. So these guns were designed by Polar Bark. Originally, his design. I've actually been messaging him and letting him know how well these guns have been. And if he's watching, I hope you enjoy this. So, I set it up so both the front cannons work together simultaneously so if you go up it goes up you go down it goes down these guns as I was testing have incredible range for example bang and disappeared <laughs> it's glorious triple barrel battle cannons and then I decided eh, it'd be fun for multiplayer if I just kind of left them individual. Now, at the back, you'll notice, yes, death charges. Sorry, it was FJ, FJ Warner and E-Train that designed the original, the original uh, death charges. Anyway, I'll have all the links and all the extra descriptions and workshop creation links and etc they'll all be in the description now this ship probably won't be uploaded by the time you watch this video if anyone does like all my subscribers that are looking go oh finally new episode i apologize it's been a very busy week but now that we have progress and we have a ship let's get started okay so the detail over the ship i made it very very simple you got your throttle key or your th Essentially your throttle clutch, but it really just manages the throttle. You hit the key. The key turns on these keys inside the engine room. Which will then start all your engines. And from there, you can drive the ship. Observe. Now that's currently turning on all the keys. Hit your throttle. And... Oh, oops. Okay, so technical difficulty. There you go. Just like most World War I ships, they sometimes have a tendency not to start right off the bat. Today's mission will be to retake North Harbor. 
We lost it, but we will retake it. And now we have the heavy firepower and the guns and the technology. We will ensure ourselves a quick, easy victory. And if not, we'll lose the we'll lose the battleship because it is one hell of a powder keg. I'm hoping you you'll enjoy the ship though, and if you do enjoy the series and the Naval War series, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now we sail. Ooh, you see that? I need that. I need to stop the ship and grab that, no matter what. Get it, Luke Container, Luke Container. Swim, swim for us, swim. Usually you're supposed to run, but today you're gonna swim. Yeah, nine points. Nine points for Gryffindor. Ah, crap. Damn it. There you go. Stalls out like an actual World War One battleship. That's awesome. Whoa, what is that over there? What's going on over there? Oh, boy. There is a little fire, and there's someone in the water with a, with a beacon. Well, that ain't my problem. Now, the enemy base is consisting of mostly the hospital village and Creative Island. Between these two points, they are slowly pushing west. And I only say that because, well, they've almost captured Holt Town. I don't know how I'm going to be able I can possibly sail the battleship in that strait all the way down, taking two points at once. I'd also have to refuel here, possibly. It's a tricky, tricky situation. If anything, I really should be trying to make a, what I would be calling a second attempt on creative base. Unfortunately, I lost the vit footage of my first attempt to take the creative base, but I'll definitely admit it was not pretty. Oh, yep, enemy jet sighted. All hands, man your battle stations. Get on the AA gun quick. Aw, oh, thank you, G-Tug. Woo, I think I hit both of your engines, yeah. This is why I took this AA gun, because I'm most familiar with it. Oh, what's that? Another jet, oh god, it's a pair. Oh god! Oh! Oh crap! That was way too close. Uh oh, he's coming back down around. Oh, we're being hit. We're being hit hard. Oh, he's on fire. He's on fire. Finish him off, finish him off. Oh, road of ammo. All right, damage control. Let's get the anti-flood pumps going. Whew, okay, medical band propeller shaft are flooding. Oh no, another helicopter. Oh, and a whole bunch of sideways boats. This is exactly what I didn't need. Get the helicopter. Yeah. Oh, come on. Get some good hits. Get some good hits. Yeah, I think he's going down. Oh, no. It's another one. Oh, it's... A keep firing. Keep firing. Oh, that's the jet. Woohoo! Enemy jet destroyed. Whoa! Okay, we gotta get on these big guns. Fur, that is huge. Line it up. Oh, we went right over him. That's okay. We just need one. Oh! That was a really good hit. Oh, is he going to get right in the way? Oh, another hit. Didn't finish him, though. Dang. It's just like the old guns. 
Okay, let's stop trying to attack the small target with big guns. Let's get the main target. Oh, glorious! What the? Uh-oh. It's out of ammo. It's trying to reload. At the same time, we got helicopters everywhere. Oh, this is quite the... Quite the difference. Oh. Can we stop it? Oh, no. Is the shit... <gasps> the ammo belt's blue. Oh, no, 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 no. The ammo belts are blowing. Engines are on fire. Oh, crap. We're on a dying ship. Oh, fire. Go out. Go out. No, oh, it's because we're still moving. And the lag. Oh, God, no. No. I knew it was going to go up like a powder keg. Oh, it sounds like that helicopter is either struggling. Turn away. We got to turn it back towards one of our islands. Oh, I have to try and put the fire out. I just have to try. The fire is too huge. Oh, no. It's this fire. Is it right under me? I know it's right in front of me, but it's everywhere. It's still spreading. Stop spreading. Oh, we've almost got it taken care of. Come Oh, no. Just what I need. Stop this fire. I got to get down inside the ship. Ah, crap. I hate when that happens. Come on. I think we did it. I think we put the fire out. Everything's pretty much broken, but uh okay, the fire's out. That's that's a good start. Let's let's get let's get busy on the guns. Make sure we're okay. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a perfect shot. Let's see if we can get the little boat. Oop, that hit land. That that hit land. Oh, that almost hit him. So the anti-flood pumps are good. Oh, engine room slowly taking on water. Ah, crap. We've got more ships to their sides. We're a stranded duck. That's a broken gun. Get it. And fire! Ah, right over him. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so reloading at night is a lot harder than I thought it'd be, considering how dark everything is. We need to try and get the ship fixed, though, and th this is going to be a challenge. Okay, so with a lot of things broken, fix the engines, fix them. All right, we got engines fixed. That's a start. Our guns are freaking out. So are some lights. All right, let's make our way into the bow hatch to see how much damage we take. Torch already. Whew. All right. Let's see. What are the odds of us getting out of this thing starting? Oh, and it comes alive. Oh, and it's stalled. This is one of those really, really old ships. Woohoo! We actually got it working again! Now, we're not going to be able to really take the island so much because we got to take it back to the drawing board, as this was the battle test. You always got to test things out, and I at least wanted everyone to experience what I experienced. Oh, sweet mama. All right, we set our waypoint back for our home base. If we can at least get halfway there, we'll be in the clear. Now, let's see. How are we doing? Flood gauges, engine room. All right. Oh. It's a tiny little patrol boat. That little bastard. Uh, 
Oh, way too low. Oh. I did not want to fight at night. The last thing I expected was to fight at night. Alrighty, I think we made it out of the clear. We're going to get this baby back to base, and we're going to try this again in the morning. Alrighty, so early morning. The ship is nice and dandy and repaired and ready to go again. Now, hopefully this time, now that we're aware of what's going on, hopefully we won't have to deal with sailing at nighttime. Because that, that was the real kicker, is trying to find everything at night. That, that's the hardest. Alrighty. Patter patter and gadadder. Oh, wait, no, my guy still needs to heal. Damn it. Ah, yes, beautiful early spring morning. If only it was spring in real life. All this cold winter. Ah. Uh. Oh, beautiful hit. We actually overkilled that PT boat a little bit. That would have really sucked to have been that PT boat. There we go. Front cannons are now reloaded. And that's our target. Prepare to turn. Yeah, we're coming in with reinforcements. With real power. So far, so good. I'm not seeing any enemy tanks anywhere. Uh-oh, at TT Coast Guard Outpost. ATC Tower is on fire. Ah, oh, crap. That is really far away. Alrighty. And that's one way to stop a boat. We'll make sure the reverse is already set. God damn it, just as I'm taking this base, two more ships just have to show up. That's okay, let's make quick work of them. <laughs> Some of these ships are pretty well armored. There we go, got you now. Yeah. Now that's what I call a close encounter. Look at that, we took out the main patrol fleet. That wasn't too bad. This thing's actually got some, some skill to it. Oh yeah, I gotta say this was definitely a good test. Now you're probably disappointed that it didn't sink. That's okay, I'm gonna make a separate video for this actual ship. Like, essentially, I'm going to purposely sink the ship by either throwing against enemy AIs or something. Because I want to see how it does, and I enjoy sinking ships. But for now, because this is the naval career, I don't want to lose money. kind of need all my money. Yeah. I can't even buy this island again still, because I put all my money into this thing. Either way, I'm going to go take that post. That way I have this island set up and then I could stop the enemy from taking other spots later on but those will be episodes you'll have to subscribe and watch later on but I hope you enjoyed my new battleship my new World War One heavy cruiser I call it a heavy cruiser but it looks more like a light cruiser really the heavy light cruiser ha huh? hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like sub like and subscribe and as always stay safe and be happy